Use code AFTV20 for 20% off your order with Fireway Pizza. Just click the link in the description below or go to fireway.co.uk now. Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Julian with me. We've just lost to Bayern Munich 1 0. We are out of the Champions League, Julian. Now, I'm expecting you to have a positive outlook and some you know, sense in this fan cam. But firstly, what went wrong for us today, if anything? Well, tonight we didn't quite make it. I mean, I spoke to my dad at half time mm. and I asked him what his perceptions were of the first half. And his one thing that I remember, he said, if you miss chances up front and you make mistakes at the back, you're destined to lose the game. Mm. And that was at nil nil. So we had our chances or we had our big chance in that first half and he didn't put it away. Mm. He, he, he had that chance. The, the who are you referring to exactly? I mean, it's, it's Martinelli, who's the love of my life. Apart from, of course, the girl I live with. I was, I was <laughs> just about to say. <laughs> but I've loved him for longer. Fair? Yeah. Fair. So, but today, obviously, he had missed that chance. Obviously, as well, in our, our goal that we conceded, it looked like it was his man that was supposed to be barking him. That, Lee looked at Raya, but yeah, where, what, yeah, whose yes. fault was it? All right, do you have to attribute blame for a goal. No, does, you does don't. It, yeah, does it always have to be a mistake? Because that's one thing, I wouldn't say I got annoyed about, but I, I could hear everyone around me and at the end of the game, people are always looking to blame. Mm. Everything's to blame. They're not looking at a good goal that Bayern, because we're not Bayern fans. We went to watch Arsenal win. Yeah. That's all we cared about. We weren't particularly looking at how well Bayern played. And for me, that, that, was, that was a good goal. The, the way he ran in, I mean, I've, I've played football, maybe it not a uh, high level, I admit that. But when you've got a player running towards goal and the ball is cut back in across, the advantage is always with the attacking player. Now, wh who's the guy? Was it Kimmich that, mm -hmm. that, yep. that scored the goal? He came onto that ball at pace. Mm -hmm. He ran. Now, Martinelli did try and track him. Mm. He didn't get close to him. And if you want to be ultra critical, you can say Martinelli should have chased back quicker. Mm. But when you've got a player running from, from midfield at that kind of pace with a ball cut back in a way that it was, which yeah. was a good ball, I think it's not, I wouldn't say it's impossible to defend against, but it's very, very difficult. And the advantage is always going to be with the attacker. So I wouldn't particularly attribute blame. I'd mm. say it was a good goal. Uh, and, and, and just on Lee's point, because I did think Lee's interview was good and I agreed with pretty much everything he said, but I can't blame Raya for the, the cross. Yeah, neither can I. I, I mean, the, the guy's not six foot five. Mm. He just isn't. <laughs> he, he jumped, he got his fingers to the ball, mm. he pushed the ball out. Maybe you could say that um, one of the Arsenal defenders should have closed down the cross, but I'd in no way attribute any blame to Raya and I wouldn't actually attribute much blame to Arsenal for their goal. I'd say it was a really good goal. Talking of blame, now this is going to be kind of a lazy question because I'm just going to go with what a narrative will be online and from other people. We've bottled it, some would say. We're out of the Champions League. Mikel Arteta's bottled it again. Another European competition, he's out. I just want to get your thoughts around that. All right, there's this word bottling it. Yeah. Now, if you lose, one team had to lose tonight. I mean, the last time we came here, we got, we got absolutely spanked. Yeah. It was an embarrassment. And I think Wenger said at the end of that game, or one of the games like it, towards the end of his reign, that it was a scar on his heart. I mean, I've yeah. seen that. I've seen and that it, and, it, and it's, it's a great quote. And that game was indicative of the last few years of the Wenger era. Mm. But... Tonight was nothing like that. It was two high-quality teams mm. playing in the quarter-final of the Champions League. Now, when you say bottling it, it means that one team just didn't play. Now, that was a very, very tight game. I, I, I'm going to say, on the night, Bayern deserved to win that game by one goal. I thought on the balance of play, mm -hmm. if one team had to win, it should have been Bayern. Does it not frustrate you just on that point? That we, would you think we missed an opportunity because they had players out as well? I know what you're saying because I, I actually do agree with that. I think when it, if you look at the chances, they had better chances. But is an opportunity missed for Arsenal because, like I said, the big players were out for them. I know they still had good players on the pitch, but this could have been the moment. Yeah, it, look, it, it, it could have been, but it, but it, but it wasn't. <laughs> it, it, it just wasn't. It didn't go our way. We didn't deserve it. But I've been to many Arsenal games over the years when they deserve to win a lot less and they, they won. Fair. It just, just didn't go our way. But again, let's put this into perspective. We have gone out of the Champions League at the quarter-final stage. Now, I'm not angry. 
Yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not Everyone angry. around me that I've seen yeah. doesn't seem too overly angry. No, I'm, I'm not angry. Am I disappointed? Yes. Of course. But the other side of it is I want to appreciate where we are mm. and what we've achieved. And we've come to Bayern Munich, one of the biggest teams yeah. in Europe. We have competed mm -hmm. and we haven't embarrassed ourselves. We haven't bottled it. We haven't played so badly that you, you can really criticise. You can say it was a tight game and it didn't quite go away. And yes, we slightly deserved to lose on the, on the balance of play, yeah. but we did not bottle it. And to put that into perspective, there's, I think, 3.5 billion football fans around the world. Now, how many of those billion football fans would want to be where we are today in the quarterfinal of the Champions League? If you want to think about teams that and supporters that aren't as happy as we are, you can look at Who's bottom of the second, um, second division? Forest Green could be going out of the league. You can look at Notts County, who were the only team that's never played in the Premier League, but actually was one of the founding teams that voted for it. And if you really want to get depressed, you could be a Tottenham fan and have never won the league since 61. I mean, I've, I'm 52 years old and I haven't even seen it. So put it into perspective, this was a great night. It was a great experience. It's what we go to football for. And we've, we've experienced it. Yes, it's disappointing that we're not experiencing a semi-final and a final, but hey, you know, it's not the worst, uh, the worst day out.